The following events were recorded as they happened at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. In this episode of Life's Little Miracles, Kylene's chance to skate and Connor's bone marrow transplant. Four-year-old Connor is in remission from leukemia. To prevent a relapse, Connor must undergo chemotherapy so aggressive it will destroy his immune system. He will then need a bone marrow transplant to survive. Okay, Connor, why don't you have a seat over here in my chair? Fortunately, Connor's parents banked his brother's umbilical cord and stem cells from the blood will be used for the transplant. The match is perfect. But the procedure is so new, it has only been done seven times at the hospital. Connor, stay still for a sec, okay, bud? Today, Connor will be examined to prepare for the treatment that could save his life. Do you want his shirt off? Yeah, that would be great. Can we do that, Connor? Oh, okay. It's turned on my hand. His counts that you saw yesterday and today, they have recovered from his chemotherapy that put him into remission. If he was to relapse, say he was relapsed now, it'd be pretty early stages. Yeah, that would be a very difficult yeah. situation. Yeah. We would have to find a way of reinducing a remission because a bone marrow transplant has only a good chance of success if there is no leukemia present at the time when the bone marrow transplant gets started. That's why we do that, chemotherapy. Okay, so Saturday is the admission day, and I will ask the transplant team to just make a quick contact with you before you leave, okay. so you know when to come and what to do. 12-year-old Kyleen is a competitive skater. Is it with a team or by yourself? No, I do singles. Singles? Yeah. She has developed a growth on her ankle that prevents her from training. When she was at Dr. Fieldman, he noticed this um, growth in her ankle. Today, Kylene will have surgery to have the growth removed. It just keeps getting in the way of things. It must then be examined by pathology to rule out the unlikely possibility it could be malignant. So, you've never had a surgery before? Is there anything you're worried about? Waking up. <laughs> Waking up but I won't. No, I meant like during the surgery. That doesn't happen. Yeah. Okay, I know a lot of kids have the same fear. Uh, okay. But these doctors are specialized just to work with kids. Okay. And there's one guy whose whole job is to make sure that you're sleeping. So you guys can just have a seat in the waiting room. Okay. And Thank then uh, we'll take you downstairs soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Put your hand on it. Hold it. Look, your mind's getting big. Yeah. Oh, it is too. It's all around there. Okay, you ready? Cool. I'm Guys? I saw Dr. Hitz in earlier. Did you have a chance to take a look at him? Yeah, again? yeah. Hey, he's, uh, he's happy. His counts are all good. Yeah. Okay. Now he's being busy, so I'll just let him yeah. be himself. Uh, were there any last minute questions that came up? He's always been pretty good there for handling the chemos, for handling the chemos, but that probably won't happen over there. Uh, he's, uh, is there some kids that do walk some through kids it? Do walk through it. The younger the children, they, they don't seem to carry the same baggage and don't know to get as sick. But they're still pretty potent drugs. Yeah. They're still pretty good at making the kids ill. Say he started to get really ill with, um, say, his fourth or fifth uh, day of keeps, or even seventh or eighth. Would you guys go ahead with the transfer? Once we get started, we try to see it through as much as can. Yes. But if he does end up on things like ventilators, then clearly. You have to yeah. reconsider and we'd have to sit down and talk about it. Yeah. But the, the likelihood is that we would already be far enough into the conditioning yeah. that our best bet would be to see it through, yeah. to get the stem cells given and to try to get to his systems rebuilt. What can we do now to kind of prepare him? Like, I know we don't have much time. We've been feeding him and anything he wants, he's been getting. Yeah, I and, think uh, exactly that. And the best bet at this point is to make sure that the next couple of days are fun. He's doing things that he wants to do. Because once he's in, you have to remember you're looking at being in for about six weeks on average. Do you want to go ahead with this operation? Yes. Okay. She can't okay. wait. Let's just take. Let me just take a look at your foot again. Okay. Can you point to where it hurts you. 
It hurts there. when like the skin of my tongue goes right in there. And it's pretty pretty mobile, moves all over yeah. the place. Huh? Ah, that really hurts. <laughs> okay, it just hurts there where the bump is, or it just hurts other places down the It, it just hurts where the bump is. I think this is either a little cyst or it may also be a little neuroma. It actually may be an irritation of the nerve. Uh, in either event, taking the bump out will make the problem from the bump go away. If it's from a neuroma, it probably is a neuroma from a very, very small nerve that goes under the skin. If this is actually part of a bigger nerve, you might have some numbness on the side of your foot. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an incision, a, a cut in the skin over where the little bump is. We'll take the bump out. Uh, we're going to use some stitches in the skin to close the skin back up. You yeah. probably don't want to wear such tight shoes for at least a week afterwards and try and keep the area dry. That means she so can't that skate doesn't mean I can skate tomorrow. She wants to skate tomorrow. I think it's probably a good idea to wait at least at least a week. Well, you should probably want to wait until the stitches are out anyways, yeah, right? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll you see you so in a little much. bit. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, a week. A week. A week. Yeah. That'll be okay. That's one more week. Okay? Yeah, and then it's over with. They're all ready? Okay. We'll okay. You can walk through the door, actually. Okay. okay. Give mom and dad big hug, big kiss, okay. and we'll go from here, all right? Thank you. Bye. Proud of you. Love you. See you later. See you later. Bye. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, honey. See you later. Okay. All right. Okay. So we just wear this like the pilot's mask, okay? Okay. You take big breaths. Smelling stuff's going to have you off to sleep in no time at mm -hmm. all now. Keep taking deep breaths. If it smells funny to you, just blow it away That's hard. That's right. Blow it away. Yeah. You're doing great. Okay. Hard part's done. We're here for Connor Sharp. Okay, let's go. All right. Do you want to check out your room before we go for a walk? Yeah? Do you want to sleep in a chair? Yeah, chair you can sleep. Yeah. Okay, I know, I know during transplant. During transplant, yeah. you cannot. But uh, you can, we can arrange to have a cot. Right. For, yeah. There's I'll a sleep on the floor. Right I don't yeah. care. I just, uh, <laughs> no, that's he's, fine. He's going to be... Uh, yeah, it's going to be hard yeah. on you too. So. Yeah? yeah, yeah, that's for sure. It's gonna be cozy in here. The nurse is gonna have to crawl over me to get to you. <laughs> what I brought along is his protocol. So we can actually go through it. It's from day minus 12 all the way to day plus five. So it's kind of like a journal. And it goes through what types of medications he needs to start, his chemo and so forth. And today actually, um, we're gonna take some blood work. Okay. Just to get a baseline, what he, what he is coming in before his bone marrow transplant. And then it goes through day minus 12, day minus 11, 10, 9, 8, all the way through. And day zero is right down here, Thursday, August 23rd, um, stem cell infusion. Let's get to work. Make a small longitudinal incision just over where the bump is. Yeah. And we'll make an incision just in the skin. Okay, and just use the bevel part of the blade to just okay. open up that area from there. The major blood vessels that run down the leg are run behind this bump in the bone, which is the inside part of the ankle joint. Okay, we have a little snap. The nurse is coming to give you the medicine. Why? Because you need your medicine. I did have my medicine. Yeah, but it's different medicine. It's your chemo. It hurt? It hurt? No, it won't hurt. Hey. You might feel a little bit of cold water going down that into your tummy. Yeah. And in that tube, but it what won't does? hurt. Yeah, it's going to go in your stomach. It got to hurt in my no, stomach? No, hurt. no, it won't hurt. Mm -hmm. Listen. Is there a certain time period we should be watching for like these seizures or anything? Probably the first hour afterwards because that's when we have to we keep them healed as well. start with like a cold sweat. And... They'll just be a bit shivery, sort of shaky. Yeah. Sort of not, not be sort of with you really. Take that thing out. It's all finished. It until finished. five o'clock. <laughs> it hurts my head. Your head it hurts. hurts. your head. As of now, it'll be five doses a day. Okay. There you go. Thanks, Connor.
They tap it a little, a little elevator. Because right down on the surface of the periosteal surface of the bone. Like a lot of things is bigger inside than when you saw the little bump on the outside of the skin. It's actually a bigger thing inside. So, okay. And I'll do the same thing from my side over here. All the way. Here we go. Okay, so here's the bump. So you can see it's just a little, just a little solid bump, probably an aroma. There's some normal tissues around it. So we'll send this over to the pathology department. They'll confirm for us what it is. So that bump should not give her any trouble anymore. So everything went just fine. So it looked like it was a little aroma, like a little, a little extra nerve tissue. And when we sent it to the pathology department, they'll look at it. If it's anything that you need to know about, I'll give you a call and let you know. She may be in a little bit of discomfort because she has a small cut on the side of her ankle. So every time she moves her ankle, it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable for her. So we will give her a prescription for some pain medicine to go home with a little bit of codeine. Okay. No skating for a week. We got that. No skating for one week. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so okay. much. Yeah, bye. 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 Thank okay. you. Bye. You're still in good shape. You didn't make really up. Good. My foot. Yeah, yeah it'll hurt a little bit yeah. for a while. Nice. But the lump is gone. Yes, the lump is gone. This is a big event. Last day of chemo, bud. How are you today? Good. Okay. So dad had any problems? I wanted to Last you. night he went to bed a lot earlier than normal. Normally at night that's when he catches a second wind. Oh, the appetite? It's been it's been easing off. He would never say no to cranberry juice. And now he's starting to ease off. He's not as interested. But he's not vomiting. He was sick there oh, yeah. one day just a just a little bit. Alright. Good. We'll continue with the condition and today is day minus two. Yeah. So it has a last dose of cyclophosphamide today. My head hurts. You want to lay down, bud? Yeah. Go to bed? Mm -hmm. All right, come on up there. Come on. All right, I'll get you some juice. Does that hurt at all down there? It is, yeah. yeah. It hurts. Have they given you anything downstairs for pain? Okay, I'll just check, see what you can get. Give you something, okay? Do you take pills or liquid? Does it matter? Oh, good. Okay, so we will check, see when she got something downstairs. Okay, great. See if she can get something out. Uh, gotta mark it the other X. Last one. Mark it off. Go like that, right there. Yeah. Stay zero, Anthony. Okay, whoops. So what are your issues with happiness and today? Uh, presently, there are no acute problems. Excellent. Do we know what volume your stem cells are yet? Or? No, we haven't got the volume. haven't got the volume yet. Okay. So he'll go from here to down the hall into the isolation room at some point in time. And that'll be a nursing issue how to keep him in that room. Okay. I'll bring you a mask, okay. and then he can walk over, okay. and then we'll bring him into the room. Okay. I'm gonna get you up into the chair now, okay? How's your head feel? Better. Yeah? A little dizzy? Yeah, a little bit. Not too bad. So that's just normal. For the dressing on her ankle, just keep it on, maybe three more days. Okay. The pain medicine I gave you should do for 
a while. And if anything, maybe Tylenol tonight. Yeah. Oh, these are yeah, okay. got a oh, Tylenol tree. Yeah. That's not okay. Yeah. Good. That should do. Does it hurt? No. Yeah. Sore. Yeah. Probably is a bit sore, huh? Okay. Great! You did it! Yeah! <laughs> and I didn't wake up. That's right. <laughs> Alright, bye bye. Bye. See you bye. later. Bye. Mommy needs a mask. Can you pick a toy? Do you want to hold it? Or do you want to go under his ears? Hang on, Connor. No, we can't pick a toy right now. We can pick a toy? Sorry. Maybe after. You're all nice and clean and you can't get through. This one? Nope, not this one. The next one. Can we just go in there? Okay, great. Thank you, Bob. Yeah. This is your new room, bud. Nice and clean in here, buddy. Connor, I won't be able to stay here with you, all right? Yeah, I'll be sitting outside there waiting for you. You all right? New dressing change, buddy. Yeah, pretty soon. The artery's coming in. Why? Okay, honey. We're going to try something. What? Got to see if this works. What is that? It's oxygen. Let me just check everything first, make sure we got everything. I'm sure we don't need any of that. No, yeah. Okay, so oxygen works. Okay, well, I'm here. Sign, check by, and any reactions or anything marked down. Okay. So it's all yours. Alrighty. So I'm going to start, when I go down, I'm going to start with the next one. It shouldn't take you that long to... No, I'm just going to go get Lisa, too. Okay. Thank you. I'm sitting here guarding that stuff with my life, man. Take a couple good armies to move that right now. Hi. Hello, hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Okay, how's your ankle doing? Good. Is it giving you any trouble? Yeah. Um, it's been numbing. A lot and yeah. tingling, a lot. Okay. Can I take a look at it? Sure. Well, the bump certainly is gone. Mm-hmm. Okay. Does it hurt to press or anything? Um, nope, that seems fine. Yeah, I think it's just probably the healing up part that's probably making... Where does it feel numb yet? Like right where the incision is, or...? Right here, and then it sometimes goes down here. Yeah. So do you know if that'll ever go away? Or? Yeah, I think that will go away. Okay. So looking here for the official pathology report. And it was a benign, obviously it was a benign thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's nothing to worry about, but Great. partly why you're feeling a little bit of some numbness because it may have been next to a nerve and you may, when it gets pressure over it, it may make the nerve not, not work quite as well. If it bothers you a little bit, you may want to take some, some anti-inflammatory medications. Okay. If you have any problems, I'm happy to see you, see you if, it, if that develops. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, you're doing super. Good luck with everything. Thank you. So. <laughs> 10 weeks after surgery, Kyleen has completely healed. All right. Uh, good time. Told him. Now that the growth has been removed from her ankle, Kyleen can once again return to the sport she loves. Tired? You had a big ride. You and a big flight of stairs. Hey, Dad. It's going. Is this flushed or what's happening? No, it has to be flushed. I'm nervous now. I wasn't nervous well, before. I'm, I'm nervous now. She's got to do an arm hug, bud. Funny, eh, how it's just in a syringe?
That's from your brother. Oh. That's Caden's blood. Yeah. That's Caden's blood. Caden. Yeah. Mm. Just for you, bud. Just for you. Yeah. yeah. That's Caden's blood going in my line. Yeah, Caden's blood going in your line. It's very special, isn't it? Let me see. Connor's bone marrow transplant is underway. You okay, bud? You all right? The infusion puts him at risk of shock, and he must be closely monitored during the procedure. You all right, buddy? But without a bone marrow transplant, Connor will not survive. On the next episode of Life's Little Miracles, Victoria's eye repair and Connor's bone marrow transplant continues.